Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode is a very personal episode, and I thought, you know, because of uh, some various different things that have gone on with chat and whatnot, uh, but I, I think it's probably time I should probably make an episode like this so that, you know, you know I can answer it and, and kind of give you a, a view of what, what things were like, okay? And the episode uh, uh, that I'm going to make uh, today is basically, how did I meet my wife, okay? And, um, you know, you may think, well, what does this have to do with anime and that kind of stuff like that? So let me just sort of, you know, fill in uh, um, you know, some some back history, okay? Um, I said it in, in um, you know, when we did a, a collab episode with the Happy Console Gamer, um, how uh, we basically, you know, you know, met our wives a little bit, right? And I didn't elaborate really a lot on it uh, during his stream, so I decided, you know, let's make an episode which was more dedicated towards it, okay? But... This is significant in anime is because the way anime started, it was a very sort of, um, you know, centered around, uh, you know, male and, uh, you know, titles and that kind of stuff. So uh, it was really, really a, a genre which only guys were really into. And, and, and it's really hard to explain now because, of course, you know, anime is so, uh, you know, available to everyone and everyone sort of loves, you know, ever since uh, the, the revolution of, let's say, Sailor Moon, um, you know, uh, Inuyasha, Gundam Wing. Uh, and of course Naruto now, uh, you know, sort of everyone sort of is interested in anime, but it wasn't always like that, okay? In the early days, anime was very, um, uh, you know, sort of very, very centered towards the male audience. It was basically being tailored and sold to the male audience. And you can tell by the titles that they were trying to release, okay? Now, it's really, again, hard to, to, hard to imagine, hard to picture this sort of um, environment, but uh, I think the closest thing you, you could sort of get into or say it would be like, it would be like um, the Magic the Gathering community, okay? I'm sure, you, you know, you, you know, there's a lot of people that are in, in this community, and I'm not saying there is no females in the Magic the Gathering community, but, I mean, if you look around, you could probably say that, you know, 70, 80, 85% of the people probably playing Magic the Gathering are male, okay? And... You know, sure, there are probably some female, you know, players and that kind of stuff. Probably very good female like players and, you know, judges and that kind of stuff out there. But, you know, by and large, most of the people that, are, you know, that, uh, you know, play the game are probably male. So, uh, you know, anime was more or less like this in the very early stages. Because, you know, if you look at some of the titles that was originally released uh, here in North America uh, for anime. Things like, um, you know, Dangayo, um, Ixir 1, you know, Megazone 23. Um, you know, the Dirty Pair, uh, you know, Bubblegum Crisis, uh, Madox 01, um, okay, you know, all sort of animes that have basically, you know, the, as I always, you know, called it, the three G's, okay, girls, guns, and gore, okay, those are what things that, 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 that sold the anime, this is why they, you know, brought these titles up, of course, you know, there's some other ones that came out, uh, you know, that are kind of like movies that, that were, you know, that might, you know, kind of sway a little bit from this, you know, Akira, you know, um, Vampire Hunter D, for example, um, might sway a little bit, you know, differently. But, for the most part, you know, most of the people that uh, follow anime at this time were guys. So, if you're going to try to find uh, a girlfriend that kind of liked anime, it was not that easy because, again, they, you know, they always thought that, you know, anime was sort of the, you know, for the nerds, you know, if you're watching anime, you're actually watching hentai, and you're a pervert, or you're, you know, a loser, that kind of stuff. That was the connotation for people who basically watch anime. Now, you can say, well, that's sort of the connotation that women think for people who play Magic the Gathering, but, you know, that's probably why there's not that many female people playing Magic the Gathering, okay? But, um... You know, that's sort of that same, you know, um, you know, uh, sort of uh, thing has happened at that time. So it was very really difficult to find, uh, you know, people that, that you know, that, that were interested in anime that, uh, you know, um, th th that, that, you know, you could, you know, call and whatever. Uh, and whatnot. That's not saying there aren't any, but I'm just saying that it's just, you know, that was, that was the, you know, the problem at that time. Okay. So. Um, to continue with my story, so I decided, okay, what I'm going to do is, you know, since I'm not really finding anything locally around me or whatnot, I decided, okay, I'm going to use some of these, uh, these online services and see what I can do, okay? So one of the first uh, sort of sites that I went to and, 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 you know, had some success with is I decided to put my, put my name on um, uh, Asian Friend Finder, 
okay? You know, the free service, you can post your picture up there and whatnot, and, and girls can, you know, can, can post their pictures and all that and whatnot, and, and um, you can browse through them and whatever, right? So, you know, I, I went through and I, you know, I posted a bunch of, you know, things and I, I put, you know, and I, you know, sent some emails out to, you know, to some, um, you know, girls that, that look good, but I never got anything back, okay? Because, you know, I'm not, you know, shall we say a handsome person, and I don't think, uh, you know, uh, you know, whatever, women would find me attractive, so, you know, I, I didn't expect any replies back. But, after about a week, I actually got, um, you know, an email back, or at least I got a response back. Not, not the one I replied, but someone responded to me. And so I said, okay, well, I mean, this is, uh, you know, this is surprising. So, you know, um, you know, in, in this particular uh, thing, it's free to, to, to see and browse and that kind of stuff, but if you need to make contact, you actually have to pay money. So I said, okay, fine, whatever, I'll, I'll put it in the box and, uh, you know, sign up for whatever, three months or whatever it is, and then, you know, and then get the contact information, let's go. So I contacted this person, and, you know, again, um, at the time, uh, you know, you know, we used a basic email, which is, you know, like, at that time was like Hotmail, and the most common messengers at this time was things like ICQ uh, and, um, and MSN, okay? Um, so, you know, uh, we got a conversation, you know, again, um, you know, the, 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 this is the picture that uh, she initially sent me, and I said, well, hey, this is, this is like a win, I mean, this is like, I'm, you know, I'm, I must be the luckiest guy in the world, I mean, to, for someone like this to actually send me something, it's like, oh my god, I mean, this is like better than anything I've ever had, so I said, okay, so let's go for it. Let's you know, you know, let's uh, go through the long, you know, the, the long distance relationship messaging type of thing, and you know, going on through. Because again, uh, at this time, um, the other sort of controversies and that kind of stuff that's sort of going on around now was uh, the whole entire uh, Russian brides and uh, you know, there's uh, these other sort of you know cases where you know the, these uh, you know guys were pretending to be girls and they're using their sister's identity and that kind of stuff. To you know, do whatever weird stuff and whatever. Anyway, so um, you know, so you know, suspicion was you know it was high, but I was very optimistic, and and, and you know, and this seemed very uh, you know very real. So I said, okay, so so I pursued it, and did all the you know the, the necessary chatting and that kind of stuff to, to you know to, to, to get to know each other better and whatnot. Okay, um, and then this is also getting one story. So one of the stories that I, that I, I've, I, I've run across and told over um, um, Twitch. Is uh, the, uh, the 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 you know the karaoke story okay, and so um, uh, one of the things I did was uh, you know up, uh, is upcoming uh, was uh, Valentine's Day, and so I was in my store you know saying things different things up, and I and, and I thought I thought okay hey what do you know, one of the things I should do is I'm going to basically um, I'm thinking maybe I should give uh, her a call like you know, over the phone like you know because again this is. Uh, you know, you, you, this isn't uh, you know like, like our digital FaceTimes and that kind of internet uh, chatting vis video chat that, uh, that that we were available now, um, because that uh, the internet's too slow for that, right? So we, you, you, there wasn't uh, um, you know MSN and ICQ were only really good for text messaging. Yeah, you, you couldn't really do video messaging. Okay, so you know, and uh, sound uh, wasn't wasn't good enough to you know to transmit. Uh, uh, a good consistent sound, so you know, VOIPs and that kind of stuff didn't work very well at this time. So, um, you know, you had to use a good old fashioned telephone and call her long distance, okay? And um, so I thought, okay, you now this is my idea, okay? Let's, on Valentine's Day, let's um, give her a call by phone, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the karaoke machine up, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna, you know, have, uh, uh, then I'm going to uh, play a song on the karaoke machine, and then I'll be able to basically sing the song to her um, over the phone. Okay. Now again, you know, her, her, you know, she's in China, and um, and uh, you know, her English is not all that great. But I figured, okay, you know, you know, to, you know, to hear a song and that kind of, you know, be, you know, be serenaded. I thought, yeah, it might be a really good idea, especially if Valentine's Day. It'd be really kind of cool, right? And so I, I was looking at different songs, and I thought. Okay, Richard Marx is uh, right here waiting for you. you know, I mean, that, that seems like a per really perfect song, right? Because the, the opening words of the line says, Oceans apart, you know, day after day, right? So I thought, hey, yeah, that, that, that would work. Yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty, you know, cool, thoughtful thing to do. Yeah, yeah you know, I'll, I'll do that song. So, you know, of course, queue up the karaoke machine, get that set up for me so that I can do that. So basically then, I uh, basically give her a call 
and then basically you know tell them oh, okay happy Valentine's Day you know oh, you know oh, you know I oh, you know, uh, this is my Valentine's Day present to you right and then I play the song and of course you know there's no way for me to hook the song up to, to the thing so that, you know she can hear it right but you know it, you know just the volume that I had going there. Um, with no, you know, with with no lyrics, and then basically I'm being able to, you know, read the words and then sing the lyrics to her over the phone, and then uh, so I managed to do that, and then of course, you know, she was so emotional, she I was crying, and you know, she was just so, uh, you know, so uh, you know, a warm heart felt about that. And I thought, okay, 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 I, I, you know, I did my part, you know, I did really good, that's great, and, and that's it, you know. I, I think any song probably would have been fine just because I thought, you know, okay, you know, she's not going to understand the lyrics anyway, so she probably won't know the significance of that, but that's all right, that's fine. You know, she liked it, she loved it, and, you know, that, 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 that's great. Okay. Um, so, about a year later or so, roughly, because I said about a year, uh, you know, um, into basically a lot of chatting, I decided, okay, you know, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go over there, I'm going to have to spend um, two months, um, you know, just you know, living with her to try to find out, you know, are we going to be compatible? You know, can, you know, can I take this to the next step? You know, we've done all this t talking and that kind of stuff. You know, let, let's see if I can take this somewhere else. Let's, let's see if it's, if, if this is the right fit, right? And of course, it also, you know, you need to do this because, you know, you need to also make sure that, you know, it isn't some weird, you know, Russian guy, you know, you know, you said, uh, you know, you know, taking the identity of his sister or whatever, and just just, just goofing off and being, you know, a, a, you know, a dink, right? But so, you know, whatever. Let's, let's you know, let, let's go through it and let's do it, right? It seems all, you know, really good. And then, you know, I gotta find out for myself, right? See if this is uh, really the way to go. Okay, so I, you know, um, so a long, uh, you know, long process to you know to to, to go over there and whatnot. Um, and you know, again, I'll, I might make another episode. About all the weird things that, that that I found in China and and, and different things that, you know that, that are kind of strange and you know when I see visually, um, you know how I interpret things visually, you know and whatnot, um, you know, really strange because like that's a whole new thing and of course the whole trip over there is a whole different thing too. But um, yeah, let's, let's put that into a separate episode. It was, it was just concentrate on on the um, you know love advice if you will. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, I fly over there. And uh, and meet her and that kind of stuff and and, and uh, you know and uh, you know and, and I'm basically you know, staying um, you know at, at her apartment in China okay and this is gonna you get you know, think it's all kind of got we also got kind of weird this is like you know, here you are right you, you know, I got to think of her point of view right because again this is a, a different era but you know you think you know here you are you have this you know you know I wouldn't say a strange guy but I mean you know someone that you've just been talking to over the internet you're gonna invite him into your house or your apartment. And they're gonna stay with you for like you know a month, uh, whatever, right? Um, and uh, you know you you have no idea who, who who this person you know who this person could be, right? You know this, this, this but you know she was absolutely uh, into it. So that's you know uh, different time, different thing, right? But anyway, so um, I meet her up there, and then uh, you know uh, you know and uh, basically uh, on the first uh, sort of day that, that we went out. Um, we went to a shopping mall. Okay, it's a uh, you know basically it's uh, this place called um, um, this shopping mall was called uh, Calafor. Um, it's a French company actually who makes these uh, you know supermarket type of things anyway. And so we went to this uh, you know place is fairly close to where she lives, and um, and you know it's a multi-level sort of uh, you know par uh, you know department type store you know. Um, um, but I'll talk about that in another episode of the you know, layout and that stuff. Anyway, so I went to this, uh, you know, this mall, and I swear, and, 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 I, was, and I swear, and I was so surprised that when I started hearing over the PA system and, and the music system, that you know, the background music in the mall, all of a sudden I hear the instrumental version of "Right Here Waiting for You" by Richard Marks. And I'm sitting there going. That song, right? And she, and then you know, and I asked her, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, you know, it's that's a very, very famous song. And then that's when I realized, then I found out that virtually everybody in China knows Richard Marx's "Right Here Waiting for You." I mean, sure, they may not understand the lyrics, but when they hear the song, they hear the tune, they know what it is. And I'm sitting there going, "Oh my God, that just added so much significance to the song." Because I said, I had no idea. And I just thought, you know, just just the, the opening lyrics of, of the song was fitting, but all of a sudden this extra, you know, 
wall of wealth of of meaning suddenly just came up to there. I didn't realize that. Yes, I picked a famous song and I actually sung it to her, and she actually knew what the song was. That and that's what just you know made it all just so much you know so much more powerful that message. So that was yeah that was sort of one of the things. So basically, after the um one one, one thing that you know that that uh, you know we finally agreed that uh, yeah we're going to get married and and we we did this whole entire process of that. Now, um, there was a, the, the, like I said, it wasn't without another thing. Another story, which I'll tell you, uh, that kind of happened. And again, this is with, you know, this is an important part of the, the, the thing is, is to always be yourself, true to be yourself. Okay. Um, and that's the lesson that there it is. Um, so, you know, I think it was somewhere in around week three. Okay. Um, I'm still staying at her place and whatnot, and um, and uh, you know, um, she had this feeling that uh, this wasn't going to work out. You know, she she you know, she was uh, you know, she was distressed. She thought, you know, this this would never work out. I, I you know uh, you know um, I don't know if this uh, will you know that we're compatible enough. I, I, you know, I don't know if you're the right person that kind of thing or whatever. To, you know, the thing her language not really held that good, but whatever. She thought, okay, this uh, you know this is the thing. So you know. Um, you know, we had a, you know, kind of a, you know, you know, you know, you know, a little bit of a falling out, you know, during the evening and that kind of stuff, and and, and she was filled with, you know, you know, worry, I guess, and and, and questionable, and, and she wasn't really sure, you know, the, of, of things like that. So okay, so you know, we you know went to sleep, and and um, you know, we you know, we just left it at that, okay, because usually when our conversations start breaking down, uh, we can't go very far because of of, of, uh, of translational issues, right? Because her English is not that good, so I don't usually press things. Um, so again, so what happened is that uh, you know we slept the evening, and then and basically in the morning, um, I woke up early, like I usually do, and then I went down to, to downstairs to um, you know to, to the kitchen and got some stuff. And, and in her place, she's got all these really large um, pantries, you know, gl uh, gl with big huge glass doors that open up into the pantries and that kind of stuff. And inside the glass, the, you know, the cabinets and that kind of stuff, she's got like dishes and, 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 and whatnot um, in some of them. And then she's in her living room, she's got, you know, the same sort of big open cabinet things with glass doors in the front. Um, and uh, they're full of like books and that kind of stuff, right? And one of the things, you know, I, I, and it's just me, okay, it's, it's, it's you know, yeah, you know, because I've you know I worked at uh, you know at the um, uh, you know home improvement store at this time, and so you know one of the first things I noticed is the 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 the, the cabinets, you know, the door cabinets um, weren't properly aligned. They were a little bit off, and, and and the gap between the doors, you know, there's a little bit of a gap between the doors. And I'm thinking, well, that's really really sloppy looking, you know, you know, nice cabinets, and it's just really, you know. You know, a quick little adjustment you should fix that. I mean, that, that that looks really, really stupid. So you know, here I am. You know, six or seven o'clock, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm on a, you know, I'm on a step ladder with a, with, with um, you know, with some you know screwdriver and that kind of stuff, and I'm I'm, I'm adjusting her, um, you know, her, 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 her you know, the, the, the cabinet tones. And again, you know. We just just from last night, we just had a new argument. You know, this is not going to work out. You know, we don't. You know, you know, uh, you know, you know. Well, I think we weren't made for each other. Blah blah blah. And, and you know, we're, we're just probably about ready to break it off, right? But I didn't care. I, I said, okay, you know, I'm staying here. I'm just going to, you know, enjoy the rest of my trip here, and and then just going to go back to, uh, you know, you know, go back and just you know start all over again, right? But you know, here I am. So I said, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I just, I, I, I selfishly just said, okay, you know. You know, this looks stupid. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go and fix this for her because I said because you know this, 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 this just doesn't look right. So, so here I am, you know, seven a.m. in the morning, just you know, sitting here fixing and 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 adjusting her um, uh, cabinets, right? Just because you know that's just some sort of pet peeve little thing that uh, that I have, and, and, and I was doing that, right? So she comes down, she she wakes up and she comes down, and wonder what, what what the noise is, and here she is, you know, she sees me, you know. Uh, on the step ladder, you know, you're adjusting your cabinet ha cabinet doors, right, and uh, you know, applying a little bit of oil and that because it makes it squeak, right. She says, you know, she says, she goes, what are you doing? I says, well, no, I, no I noticed that your cabinets are all kind of out of uh, out, out of uh, you know, out of things. So I'm, I'm I'm repairing them, right. And again, she all of a sudden just starts crying, 
right? And I guess what had happened is that, you know, because she's been living alone, you know, you know, um, you know, no one's done that, okay? She's, no one has, you know, taken care of, you know, little things. What she refers to as little things, right? Because um, she's always good at taking care of, you know, the, the big picture, you know, the big items. But she's, no one's been taking care of the little things, right? And so here I am taking care of the little things. No one's asked me to do it. I just decided to do it on my own thing because I guess it's my own little, you know, so I say pet peeve. It's all my own little self, you know, uh, you know unselfish act. Um, here I'm fixing these things, and then all of a sudden, you know, she says she starts crying and she says, "You know, you know, you know, this is, you know, you know, you know sh thank you very much." It's like you know, no one's ever done that for me, and all that kind of stuff. And again, that's all of a sudden. I think that 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 that, that made her flip the other way around, and then and and then that's uh, when she decided that uh, you know maybe I am the right person after all, and uh, you know, and uh, so that, that, that then all of a sudden, you know, we then switched over and then we started doing the whole wedding ceremony and, and, and that kind of thing there and that was no, 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 another fun thing so you know mom on this role um you know because it's sort of a wedding story kind of thing um um i'll, I'll explain it in this episode rather than putting it into the next one because it would get you know i don't, don't want to you know make this episode too long um so uh in china as you know uh they have these um um, photo taking places okay now of course over here we're used to just saying okay hey after the wedding ceremony or whatever uh, you know we'll take the photographer out to like you know UBC or whatever the botanical gardens and that kind of stuff and we'll take pictures of people uh, in the wedding party and that kind of stuff with flowers and whatever in the garden somewhere and you know nice place like that or whatever that's you know that's our thing right that's, that's what we do but in China you know you can th there's these photo studios where you can go where you can literally just you know you book the appointment or whatever and then you just go right you know you go there right off the street essentially in street clothes or whatever and then you just go there and then they will you know they will fix you up they'll you know they'll, they'll, they'll give you the clothes and that kind of stuff and then and, and they'll take the pictures and, and whatever of you in the studio okay and it's, it's, it's actually not that expensive. It's like you know, like a, like like uh, 100, 200 bucks or something like that. Three hundred bucks maybe. Okay, if you get like the deluxe package or whatever. But it's basically yeah, you just walk in there, and you get like uh, I think it was five, five, like five or six um, costume changes or, or or you know dressing changes. Okay. And um, and they'll even then they, they, they've got like hairdressers and that kind of stuff all there and makeup people all there, and you, they, they'll they'll set you up. So again, you know, we first said okay, you know, let's go in there and let's get the standard of you know black tux and and wedding dress and then you know we'll take pictures of that. Okay, so you know I'll do that. Uh, you know you know they'll, they'll, they, so they, they fitted me up with a with the tux and they you know got it all tightened up and everything like that and her you know got her in the dress they you know, fixed up her hair put the the flowers in the hair and then you know they, they take a bunch of pictures and blah 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 okay and then they go okay hey you know yeah we you know we can change to a you know do we have another uh, you know clothing change right so I thought oh huh, okay that's kind of cool um hmm so we just uh, so we uh, so we flip it through and it's like hey yeah formal dress okay like you know it's like you know, so, so you have your you know, your 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 tuxedo dress but how about like some, you know some nice uh you know evening wear type of thing right so, so i was looking around and I, go, and, I, and I saw this this sort of tan suit i think like, you know that's like michael jackson's uh you know smooth criminal type of thing right and that kind of, at, at this time that you know that was that was a really popular song right and um so I said, yeah, yeah, that one right there. We'll, we'll do, you know, formal wear type of thing, right? And I thought, okay, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do that, right? So, so, so I said, so I said, yeah, okay. So, so here I am, you know, like, you know getting, you know, sit, fitted up and all that kind of stuff, and I'm uh, and I'm done up in, in that, and you know, got the nice hat going, and and then you know they're they're getting her ready because you know you know she has to you know the, the, again the hairstylist and the, and the makeup people have to work longer than the women you know to, to do whatever their thing is right so here i'm standing you know kind of you know i'm ready so i'm, I'm just waiting and just kind of standing around and there's there's these all these other couples right like like you know, you know they're you know they're being served just probably like three or four other couples um you know going through also picking out clothes and and doing their their shoots in their little slot right whatever right 
and um, and uh, you know they got the photographer their particular photographer you know following them around doing their stuff right so here I am just standing here waiting you know you know just kind of uh, uh, just waiting for that and just looking around and I thought hey this is so cool you know maybe I should start doing some you know so then I started doing the you know some start doing some of the uh, you know the Michael Jackson stuff right you know the leaning and the and uh, you know you know, just, just sort of jumping and sort of just, you know, doing the quick turn and then, you know, do, doing the leg kick and just doing the, uh, and all that stuff. And it's, you know, people are kind of watching, you know, and some of the other people are kind of watching me, you know, you know, kind of, you know, doing the sort of move and like, you know, and I'm here, you know, here I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm humming and singing, you know, smooth criminal and all this other stuff. And, um, you know, and, and, and whatnot, right? My wife is just, you know, okay, she's occupied doing this. So, 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 so I'm just kind of doing this. And some of the people are sort of watching us, you know, watching me just do this kind of stuff. And, and you know, and again, it's uncommon to see, um, you know, a, you know, a, a, you know, a Chinese person sort of you know speak this well of English, right? I mean, usually most people who speak English are, are pretty you know broken English and that kind of stuff. Let alone someone who can actually sing and dance, right? And I'm not, I'm not a great dancer either, but I mean, yeah, I, 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 I you know I follow Michael Jackson a little bit, so I sort of know and I kind of do that kind of stuff, right? So here I'm doing this sort of stuff, and people walk me, and you know, wife finally comes to me, what are you doing? It's like. You know, so, oh, it's just you know, this is just like that uh, Michael Jackson thing, right? And, and she knows the name, but she doesn't know the videos and that stuff, and 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 and, and that kind of stuff. So again, it's that sort of same sort of you know person name recognition. So you know, you know so that's what's famous and popular in, in, in China. So. Uh, so 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 that, so we did that, and then we we you know we we did a um, you know a photo shoot using that sort of thing, and then and then we went over and okay. okay uh, what else, uh, you know, costume should we make? And so I'm, so I'm looking around going, hmm, what would be really kind of cool? And I thought, uh, hey, you know, I, 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 I know. I want um, her to dress up uh, like, uh, you, know, you know, cosplay or whatever, if you will. I want I want her to dress up in in, in, in uh, you know like like Lin Min May right you know try to put the braids in her hair and, and do the thing like that and, and wear the red you know, the, you know the red skirt that goes right up her you know right up the side hip and you know showing lots of skin on the, on the thigh there I thought yeah 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 okay now how do you describe that right so I was saying uh, and then so uh, I I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, like again, there's, there's no internet, so I, I can't pull up my cell phone and just pull up a picture of Minmay or whatever, right? So I'm trying to describe, yeah, 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 uh, you know, red dress, uh, you know, like you know, slit down the the thigh there, and and, and you know, uh, you know, uh, kind of like like this, like you know, ponytail like down here, like this kind of thing, and 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 then you know, and uh, so so I, I guess. Between her and, and and the and the you know the the, the, the makeup person, she says, oh, yeah, 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 okay, got it, got it, got it, right. So, so you know, so 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 you know, they, they got her to do that. They 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 they, they, they managed to get her, uh, you know, one of those uh, kind of uh, you know whatever geisha red dresses or whatever, and with, with the big uh, the you know slit down the, the the side skirt there, and said, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll do that. And so we did that one uh, as a costume change, and that was really fun, and. Um, and again, so, so you know, every time we we came up with one of these weird ideas, right? I think some of the other people that kind of saw it and 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 you know they're they're, they're seeing, you know, I guess you know, how much fun we're having, I guess, from, and you know some of the great ideas, you know, some other people were, were, were you know were, were getting that idea and saying, hey, the other. I, I want to do that, you know, like I want, I, I want that sort of thing. So, because I, because I, and one of the reasons I I, I remember it is because after. My wife did the you know red uh, you know dress with the slit down the slit, the slit the skirt right. This other woman, okay, uh, for, you know, that was that was uh, that was you know, you know and his uh, and her husband or whatever um, was going to uh, you know saw that and she wanted to do it, but she doesn't have shall we say the figure to wear a, a minmay type of dress, okay, um, but. It's so interesting that that, that they, they they still managed to you know to to, 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 to get and fit the dress on her and I'm, and the way I actually you know I kind of saw her afterwards you know when we were going on to the next um you know, uh, you know uh, costume and uh, they're fixing her to, to do that you know the, the costume what they ended up doing was they ended up splitting the dress up the back okay and they used um, a white towel up the back and then basically safety pinned the dress to her because she you know she had to make up the extra uh, uh, uh you know with shall we say 
Uh, <laughs> and uh, same thing with the skirt. They had to split the skirt up the back, okay, and then basically, you know, use a towel to, you know, to cover up the, 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 the split part and then safety pin the, 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 the thing up the, you know, the back and then basically, you know, try to line up the, the, the you know, the slit down her you know, big thighs uh, <laughs> and basically make that part fit. But it's amazing how they actually managed, you know, they're, 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 you know this, this, this place was willing to do that and, and has the facilities to do that. Um, and uh, you know, do up the makeup and that kind of stuff, and then she did the same thing. She, you know, she, she she opted to do the ponytails, and then you know, do the hair thing, and then and then put the ponytails down and that kind of stuff. So so the, so that woman did exactly the same thing that we, that we were trying to do. Um, you know, and again, I, I don't think that she knows who Min May is, and I don't, I'm pretty sure she probably has never watched Macross. But you know, that idea, okay, of the uh, of the of the Chinese girl in the red dress, um, you know, went through it, and and uh, even you know. Her figure didn't allow her to do that. They 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 they, they fixed it and they you know obviously they, they, they did a photo shoot uh, with her in that kind of costume. Anyway, so th so that's you know we did that. Um, I remember one of the last costumes you know, that we ended up picking was the the Chinese emperor costume and uh, and and whatnot, right? And again, it's it's, you know, it's it's one of these really big, bulky, huge. Sort of, I don't know, goofy sort of costumes that 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 that, that uh, you know you would you know wear because um, there's lots of uh, bulk and you know, things that hang off you and what and whatnot. But they decided, yeah, well, sure, why not? You know, I, I you know, I, you know, we we've already done you know the, the most important ones, you know, for for a wedding thing. So let's just do a goofy one. So I said, okay, yeah, sure, let's dress up as the uh, the the the, the uh, you know the, the the ancient Chinese emperor, okay. So they okay, so, so here they are. They they they, they you know they, they put the thing on to you and, and you wear it up and whatever and it's a big you know bulky thing and, and yeah sure we did we did a whole bunch of uh, uh you know uh, did one of our shots uh, using the you know the Chinese emperor costume and uh, you know and, and 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 again you know as soon as we were finished it you know sure enough. One of the other you know, you know couple said, "No, we, we we want that one. We want this one next." You know, you know like so they you know they're just copying the same ideas. But again, we I guess we were just having so much fun doing it. It was a cool thing to do. So again, if you yeah, if you ever end up traveling to China and and and, and you want to you know do a kind of a weird sort of a you know sort of cosplay experience and things like that like that, check these you know these sort of photography places out. It's a, doesn't cost a heck of a lot, but uh, you know, yeah, you can go in there and you just just have a blast of the time, just putting on different costumes and taking some. Bits. So anyway, so we so we got some nice high quality uh, wedding pictures out of this thing, and that's sort of uh, you know that you know that was my experience with that uh, you know kind of thing. Anyway, so uh, what you want to do right now is you want to go down below, click like, click subscribe. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a whole wealth of stories about my trip to China and that kind of stuff, which I'm gonna have to put in another episode because, of course, this episode is getting too long. But just wanted to go through and just tell you, you know, this is how I met my wife. And just to those people out there, you know, don't lose hope. Okay, there's, you know, someone out there. You just gotta, you know, bear through, keep trying, because as I said, you know, if you don't have, if you don't try, you have no opportunities, and if you have no opportunities. Well then, you know, <laughs> you can kind of guess what your outcome is going to be, right? So, until next time, see you again.